Welcome to this short presentation about the interface between Pro Structures and Start Pro. My name is Gernot Jeromin. I am a senior application engineer for Pro Structures at Bentley Systems. If you want to exchange projects between Pro Structures and example of Start Pro, because this could be anything else like Ecosim Building Designer, any RAM application, Revit, Arschstab from Global or simple IFC. We are talking at Bentley about ISM, Integrated Structural Modeling. And before I start to show it to you, uh, I want to clarify a few things. First of all, we have to deal with some enemies, so solutions which don't like each other very much. So we are talking about a physical model and an analytical model. In the physical world, we have objects with physical information and insertion accesses, continuous objects, stuff like that. So if a column and a beam, if they come together, the, the column for instance goes through, uh, we have, uh, we are inserting the beams, top of steel, and, and stuff like that. In an analytical world, each time if two objects come together, they will be separate we have uh, uh, everything inserted on center lines. So naturally we have to bring these words together. So and this is the, the main purpose, or one of the main purposes of, of ISM, to translate between a physical and an analytical solution. In ISM we don't create each time a new exchange file which has to be imported and exported. In ISM we create a data pool, or let's call it ISM repository, and each of our applications will write and read in and out of this ISM file. So the process in all of our applications, all of the applications which support ISM, is basically the same. You start a new project, you create an ISM data pool. In any other application, you can create a new project by reading this ISM information. And if you do a modification anywhere, you write this information back into the ISM data pool and the data will be updated. And then you can go to any other application and there, instead of creating a new file, you get the update out of the data pool. And this includes other applications which are not from Bentley. So okay, this is now uh, a good time to have a have a look at pro structures. Um, let's switch to to it. Here's a small model which I have created. Well, it's very simple. We want to keep it simple, then you see a little bit better what's going on. So my first recommendation is before we start dealing with the uh, uh, ISM interface, I would switch off everything which is not important uh, for the exchange process. If in this case, I want to go from Pro Structures, in this case Pro Steel, to Stat Pro. In Stat Pro, I want to do some uh, ana uh, analysis. I have here some purlins on top, which are not important for the for Stat Pro. So I can go in here and can say these purlins. I just switch them off. So I highly recommend if you dealing with these kind of interfaces that you organize your model, that you work only with with objects which are important for your exchange process. If we have a look now at ISM, we have in each application which supports ISM these four commands. We can create the repository, we can create a new project from the repository, we update the repository, or we write an update to the repository. So the, the, all these commands are all the same in all applications. So if you go to Stat Pro or if you go to Ecosystem Building Designer, it's always the same process. So in this case, we want to start from scratch. I want to create a new repository uh, and I'm going to create a new one. Let's say ISM Exchange, for instance, selecting the view. Okay, that's good. And now we are creating a new database. We say database. It will ask for information which can't be uh, um, 
exchange would say uh, there's a material which is unknown I overjumped that for the moment instead pro usually all the materials are called in this case steel so uh, I leave it as it is in addition it will ask for shapes which are unknown so in this case there is an uh, um, HE400A and it is, is an ISM database that's fine so here is an, an angle which is unknown so I can go in here and say I want to select this shape from any database so I have to just find the uh, uh, correct database and then I have to find uh, um, uh, the uh, the shape uh, which, which fits best so in this case that will be in the central database and there is an 100 by 100 by 10 here it is and let's say OK so now it's assigned and I say OK and now it's loading the ISM change management the whole change management I've told you that we're writing we're creating a database file or repository how we call it and the beauty of the whole ISM interface it's it's graphical so I I see what's going on it's changed tra transparent I can rotate so this is the project that I'm exporting I get my base plates I get my all my shapes in here I have now my angles and here I have a list of all objects which will be uh, uh, well, let's say created in this case uh, into into the uh, uh, database so let's say I sec those and say uh, update my data pool I can give a description let's say uh, created with pro steel and let's say okay done okay was successfully and it says maybe I should go in here and I should save my file and I'm going to do that so the next step is I want to switch to Stat Pro I've created here a new project and in Stat Pro I've told you they're the same commands here's ISM say create a new from update and update from in this case I say I want to create a new project from a repository so I can go in here it's asking now for this ISM file here we go and let's say just run it and like before it will create or open this ISM file and, and it's it's graphical I see what's going on I say select all accept it and say update my strat profile and again if there, there's anything in there which has to be linked so in this case there is my my angle 100 by 100 by 10 it's a European shape I can go in there and select it out of the stat pro uh, um, database I just have to find it it is 100 by 100 by 10 and say OK that was successfully I don't get any errors no warnings that's very good and here is my model so the first thing that you may notice is if we if we switch to pro, pro steel back you see that my beams are inserted uh, um, top of steel and the columns are extended so if I switch to my stair pro model you would see that we are working here with offsets so the the location of these shapes are uh, 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 where they should be here here are my bracings and so on so I could go in here into stat pro and um, uh, do some analysis um, I, I want to do the change manual uh, manually to to show you a little bit better, better what's going on so if I have a look at the pro steel file so you have here an IPE 217 uh, uh, so if I go in here and just double click it and go go in there so that's the same shape I want to change that I want to I want to have an IPE let's say um, there's a 270 let's say in IPE 330 so I change that so now it's a 330 
Um, another thing is what I want to do. I I take this shape and I want to move it and I want to move it a little bit up a little bit by 500 and say okay yes I want to do that so now it has been moved up so I changed the size I moved the position and now I'm uh, uh, I could go in and do anything as like deleting or adding some stuff but let's say that's okay uh, let's let's uh, leave that for the moment so now when I've done some modifications I go in here and say ISM now I say update the repository so I, I'm running this process yes I want to update and now it's loading the structure synchronizer so this is how this whole interface has been called and you see that immediately this object has been changed so and everything else will stay the same so I can select all I can accept this and I can make a preview so this is how it will look like and you see this one has been moved up and I say update and say modified with stat pro I can say it's a major change and say OK. The, and that's it. No errors, no warnings. That's very good. So let's switch back to Pro Structures. So here I could have go, uh, gone on with my modeling. I could have done anything else. But now I, I, I noticed that something has been changed. So I can say give me the update from the repository so I want to do that and now is going in there is a material question that's the same you see the the mapping is still the same and now it's loading the ISM change management so it it's now comparing the data pool with my actual model and say okay this has been changed so I can select those oh, select all and accept the changes I could go in there and say uh, I want I don't want to accept these changes I can I could reject them but in this case you want to do that and say okay up, update my my pro, pro C file and you see that now the the beam has been moved up and it's now an IPE 330 instead of a 270. So the the only thing is that my connections they didn't get updated uh, because they haven't been um, part of the ISM. But if I go into the connection and say uh, uh, I just force an update, so the so the connection is still there between uh, uh, the connection and the beam so and a, a simple update will will do so change my do any modification and say okay and we are done and my columns are still my columns and everything is nice and shiny so what will happen now if I do modification here so um, let's say I I I, I want to add something I want to at anywhere beam so let's say um, I go to my options here just want to switch something on I go to pro steel and I say I want to insert a beam uh, 270 between two points and I say between this point and that point and accept it I could do some connections but I I leave it like it is um, and now I go in here into pro structures and say now I want to update my repository so I go the other way around so okay let's do that we'll ask for the material again the beauty of that is I can have different materials in the two applications um, so you can you can say you have uh, uh, anything in, in pro, pro structures and on the other side everything is called steel so we will translate between these information 
So let's say I want to select those, I want to accept these modifications, I want to make a preview, and you see now this object has been added. And I'm going to update the repository, I could give it a information again, update it with ProSteel, and say OK. Has been done. Yes, I have to save here, do that. Switch back to Stat Pro. And again, you guess it right. I say I want to update from the repository. Start that process. It's loading the ISRAM synch uh, structure synchronizer again. Select all, accept. I could say preview. Here's my new shape. Update. Let's move that aside. It should appear here. Here we go. And we are done. So that's the whole ISM process is going instead of creating new files all the time, it's really a round-tripping solution. You can uh, go from here to Ecosim, to RAM, to, to uh, Revit Structure, um, to uh, Global, Airstab, um, so, and here it will really keep everything in sync. You can work in both uh, many applications and the whole process hopefully is much clearer now to you. So that was the the ISM or exchange process between ProStructures and StatPro via ISM integrated structural modeling. There's so much more to say about it. You you've seen that the whole ISM process is based on an ISM viewer or synchronizer. So it gives you a graphical interface which will show you what's going on. And there's so much more. So you can create 3D PDF files so that you can review an, on, an, on an Acrobat reader what's going on. There's an IFC interface implemented into the synchronizer. And again, the beauty is that you see what's going on. There's a revision management. You notice that I uh, typed in what, what the modification was so you can be very specific there. For instance, I've added something, I've deleted something, and I've changed something. And we, we keep track of all the modifications. So you can go later on in there. You could review those modifications. You could compare graphically the differences between modifications. And you can go in there and later on, for at any time, you can reject or, or undo modifications someone has done. And there's an ISM editor where you can go in there and you can modify this ISM file, you can change shape types, you can change materials and stuff like that. So e everything what you can do with an application can be done with this editor as well. So thanks a lot for your time. If you have any more questions, contact us. Again, my name is Gerner Jermin. I'm a senior application engineer at Bendy Systems. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.